Welcome to the ADF Insider Essential Series which demonstrates essential skills, tips and techniques that you'll require for building an ADF application. In this demonstration you'll see how you can programmatically access and manipulate view criteria. My name is Grant Ronald and I'm part of the Oracle Development Tools product management team. So first of all, what's a view criteria? Well, a view criteria is a predefined filter that can be applied to a view object, which essentially affects your where clause. Now, why would you want to programmatically access a view criteria? Well, it could be that you might dynamically want to filter a view of data depending on some action within your application. For example, rather than showing all orders in a system, you only want to show orders which are open. You might want to only show data for the current department or the current user who's logged in. Or you may want to create your own custom search behavior or panel in which the user enters specific data and then presses a button and you apply a sort filter or view criteria based on that. So how do you programmatically access a view criteria? And in this example, I'll be accessing the view criteria from the user interface via a button. So in pseudocode what we need to do is look at the view object. Now the view object holds information about the select or the query statement that represents a view object. For a view object we then need to find a predefined view criteria. So these are view criteria that you would set up at design time. For example a view criteria to filter on job ID or department ID. You then programmatically want to set bind variables, assuming we've set bind variables on these view criteria. This obviously gives us much more flexibility in the data that's passed to the view criteria. And then we want to apply the view criteria. The final step is uh, an optional step we'll be using, which is re-executing the, the query. Um, when you change a view criteria, it doesn't necessarily affect the data until that data is re-queried or in fact refreshed. So in a little bit more detail we need to look at for the employees view object we'll look at the view of the employees view impl file and in there we'll get a handle to an object called the view criteria. We can then expose getters and setters for the bind variables that we define at design time. So for example if we define a job ID bind variable we'll automatically get a set job ID bind method. Once we've got a handle to the viewer criteria, we've set the bind variable, we'll then apply that view criteria and then we'll call a method to execute the query on that uh, view criteria as well. So let's look at this in a demonstration. Okay, so in our employees view object, I've created two view criteria. View criteria in department, which will check for employees who are in a department specified by depth ID bind variable. I also have another view criteria, which is in job view criteria, which will check that an employee has a particular job as defined by a bind variable as well. So how can we access those programmatically? Well, the first thing we'll do is go to the Java tab and we're going to create a Java class for an employee's view object. Specifically, we're creating the employee's view impl and we're going to expose the bind variables in that view object. So let's OK. And there's our Java class. And there you can see the getters and setters for the bind variables. So let's add our own custom methods here. The first one we're going to add is a method which will set the job view criteria and pass in a parameter so we know which job it should be set. Uh, we need to get access to view criteria and let's do our imports equals and we can get 
view criteria and then we just pass the string which is the name of the view criteria and the view criteria we created at design time was in job view criteria so we've now got a handle to the view criteria and I can choose to do view criteria dot reset criteria so that will reset any values that might have been set at design time I'm now going to then call set job ID bind because I'm now setting the bind variable to the value that I'm going to pass in I need to then apply the view criteria and then execute a query because that view criteria will only be applied the next time the query is executed so I'm going to cut and paste the second example and um, this one instead of set job view criteria we'll call it set department view criteria and this time it will take a number and again here we're changing the name of the view criteria which will be in department view criteria and then we set the bind variable which will be set department ID bind and the value is X that we're passing in so there's the first method that will programmatically call the job view criteria and the second one will programmatically call the department's view criteria let's add another public method I'm going to call this one clear job view criteria no parameters this time and what this method will do will call remove apply view criteria so we can programmatically remove any view criteria that's been applied in this case we're going to remove the in job view criteria and then execute the query so that will allow us to programmatically clear the job view criteria if it's been applied so the final example of a method is we're going to apply two view criteria at the same time so we're going to have a method and we'll call this uh, let's see depth 60 VP because what we're going to do is have a view criteria or a method that will set view criteria such that will only show department 60 vice presidents and I'm going to cut and paste some of the lines here quickly and here we'll call this one D and J okay so we're getting handles to the view criteria we will call the set dept IB bind to new number Sixty, and there we'll set VP. So I'm going to now apply the view criteria like I did before, and we'll apply. the job view criteria I'll now apply the department view criteria but this time I'm going to set this parameter to true and what that will do is apply the department's view criteria but append it true means it will append it to an existing criteria which means it will append it on top of the fact that I have the job view criteria defined as well so again execute query and let's compile okay the final step is to ensure that those methods are available 
to our model project and we can expose those as client side method. There's our clear department 60 vice presidents, set department view criteria and set job view criteria. We could also expose the get and setters for the bind variables here as well again if we wanted to access those programmatically from manage bean for example. Okay we're finishing the model project let's go to our page refresh our data control and there we can see the methods we created. Now we could call those methods from a backing bean as part of a method activity in a task flow but the easiest way to show you in this example is if I just drag these on as parameter forms. So that allows us to set and execute the department view criteria, department ID view criteria. This one will allow us to set and execute the job. Then department 60 is just a button Vice President and clear view criteria again is also just a button. So let's save and let's run the page. Okay, there's a table of employees and let's show deploy employees who are in department 60 and execute. There we go. And let's look at anyone who is a vice president. And you'll notice that will show different departments because this method here would override or unset any existing methods being set. Let's clear the job view criteria. Let's reset it. And let's show us all vice presidents who are in department 60. And there we go. So to summarize, we have an object called view criteria which represents the design time view criteria that we created earlier. And on this view criteria object we can have a number of actions which include it can be removed from the view object, it can be reset, we can apply a view criteria with bind variables and we can append a view criteria to an existing view object where a view criteria has been set as well. For more information, including downloads, tutorials, discussions, etc., you can go to the Oracle Technology Network. Thank you very much for listening.